This video provides a brief comparison of the code we developed in our two previous videos. One showed how to develop using Pentaho MapReduce, and the other showed Java MapReduce. I squeezed both development environments on the screen so we can compare the codes side by side. On the left hand side, you see the Pentaho Mapper written in PDI, a graphical development environment. And on the right hand side, you see the Java Mapper written within the Eclipse IDE. Uh, let's take a look at the code briefly. Uh, in the, on the Pentaho side, you see we received uh, key value pairs. We defined them as strings in a nice little text environment here, a little uh, form. Uh, then we split the value uh, based on a pipe delimiter. We just all we do is specify the character and the fields that we were splitting into. Uh, notice the uh, URI and refer are in fields three and four. We then filter rows, only getting the refers that were equal to the dash that, were, that gave us our entry page views. We then split the uh, URI to get the section value out of the second component of that URI. Remember it was uh, a slash and then the section and then a slash and the rest of the page and then we cared about the, the first value after the first slash. Then we did a lookup. Uh, our marketing team had pulled together category information uh, for each section and we defined a Hadoop file input step where we pulled in the, that file out of HDFS uh, and we defined the two fields in the file. Uh, we said that the file was tab delimited. Uh, and, and uh, added that to our uh, stream lookup where we basically compare the sections where they're equal and we, we return the category and threw that onto our stream. Uh, and then we constructed our new key which was the category pipe section and the value of one for the counting the, the entry page view. And then we specified that the new key and new value would be the output. So pretty straightforward, uh, obviously no Java coding on the Pentaho side. On the IDE side then we have to define a, a map function uh, and in that function we receive uh, the value as a text object. Uh, we then have to split that text object, we convert to string and split it. We have to do some funky escaping to deal with the regular expression in Java escaping. Uh, we pulled out fields uh, 3 and 4 which are um, uh, indexed by uh, 2 and 3 in the uh, fields array. Uh, we then checked for the refer equal to a dash. We then split the URI uh, to get the section out, much like we did on the uh, PDI side. And then we specify the output key to be the uh, section map um, uh, get uh, section at pipe section. The section map was a hash table we had to pull together. If you recall, we, we loaded the distributed cache with um, the HDFS file and we passed it through to our environment. So the configure method is basically this entire code in this configure method is building the same um, memory structure that we define in this one step over here in PDI. And then the um, get method down here is effectively calling, is effectively doing the same thing as our stream lookup in PDI. Alright, next let's look at the uh, reducer. So let's look at those reducers. In the uh, Pentaho side we have the reducer uh, specified in four steps and then on the Eclipse side here we have a pretty short uh, reduce uh, method to take care of things. So uh, on, the, on the Pentaho side we define our key and value coming in. Remember the key is a string, it's the uh, category pipe section, the value is number one. And then we sum the values for that key. We know that the records are sorted by key so the sum will work just fine. Then we construct our new key value. Remember the key is going to be something that we're going to suppress so it doesn't matter what it is. We define it as just a, an integer of one. The value now is the old key, again category pipe section then we add a pipe and then we add the sum value, the number of entries. And then of course we output the new key and new value. On the Java side, again, the uh, key is coming in as a text object. The values is an iterator on int writables. Um, we specify a counter. We then loop through the values, uh, incrementing that counter with the value and the values. Uh, we then set the output value with the, uh, uh, the, the key uh, pipe, uh, concatenating with the pipe, concatenating with the new count. Uh, and then our output, we output the, a null key, a null writable object, which we had to define uh, with the output value. So next let's move on to the configuration. The job configuration in Pentaho is done through a PDI job. Uh, it's one step job here. We're just going to run the Pentaho MapReduce uh, job entry. Uh, we specify our mapper and where we're going to get our input and output uh, data from. We specify, in, uh, these are steps within the mapper. And then we specify the reducer and the same thing for the steps there, input and output steps. We then do our job configuration. Uh, we're going to suppress the output uh, of the reduce key, uh, so we're only going to get the reduce value that will allow us just to print the line of text in our output file, which is going to be placed in weblog entries. Our input data is coming from weblogs parse. 
Uh, we specify our input and output format uh, classes. And then we have a nice, nice little handy little flag here where we can specify the path or deleting the path of the output uh, folder uh, before we run this step. So a uh, handy little feature, you don't have to remember to go to Hadoop uh, and remove those files from HD or that folder from HDFS. You can have this step do it for you. And finally, we specify where we're going to run. Uh, on the Java side, uh, we have again our driver class here. Um, we have a run step. We're going to do this with tool runner so we can pass in the uh, input directory and the output directory. Remember we had to use a distributed cache to throw our sections text file for our lookup of categories. Uh, that was this, this file then is uh, used in the configure function uh, in the mapper we just went over. Uh, we specify our key and value class uh, outputs for the, for the entire job as well as for the mapper. Uh, we have the same um, uh, we have to specify the input path and output paths. We can grab, the, you know, we can tell the job where to get the input data and then where to write the output data. We have to specify the map and reducer classes, which we've we just developed. We then run the job, catch any errors, and we're done with the uh, definitions of the job configuration. Now, to run this, we have to uh, uh, move off to the, uh, the command line. So um, we have a uh, run a Hadoop jar, demo jar. We have to jar up the, so the code, uh, deploy it, um, and then uh, uh, run this uh, command line function in some way, shape, or form, the script in some way, shape, or form. All right, that's the end of the job configuration. So in conclusion, with Pentaho MapReduce, you program by linking different job steps and editing their property sheets. And with Java, uh, you're down developing classes, dealing with those pesky syntax and packaging errors. We think you'll agree that the Pentaho development environment will be more approachable to your data programmers while increasing the productivity of those uh, savvy MapReduce gurus and your staff. Once again, thanks for watching and thank you for your interest in Pentaho.